Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am a nameless being created purely to ask questions to fictional characters. Here, I will be talking to one of the Cain siblings from the second book in the Cain Chronicles, The Throne of Fire. Carter Cain, I read the book. Your guys' telling of the events was fantastic. Thank you, thank you. It's an honor to be here. Uh, wherever here is. Oh, that's not important right now. I've got a few questions to ask you. First off, how old were you during these events? Let's see. Yeah, I was 14 years old, and Sadie just... Yeah, she can tell us that. You were just a young buck then? Oh, I still kind of am. Next question. When you started the journey of the Throne of Fire, did you really think it was possible to awaken Ra and feed Apophis to save the world from eternal darkness? Well, uh, if I'm being honest, when we started out at the Brooklyn Museum, I was pretty skeptical about everything, especially when we got back to the house. I, that's when I really started worrying. Good, good. Now, I heard that you had a nice introduction to Bess. What was your first impression of him? Oh, Bess. When we first met, I tried to kill him. Well, and I showed up to save Sadie and her friends, but it turned out that Bess had already done that. With him being the dwarf god and all, he is pretty terrifyingly ugly. <laughs> you could say that again. He is pretty terrifyingly ugly. It seems that we have con some confused faces in the audience. No? just gave a book talk. Too bad. Carter, I'd like you to give us a summary of the events. Uh, make it short, please. Uh, okay. We were on a mission to save the world for the second time, actually. Apophis, the giant snake guy, was rising from his prison in the Dua and wanted to swallow the sun. I already mentioned that, buddy. <laughs> The sun being swallowed isn't very good, so we plan to awaken the sun god, Ra. See, the problem was that waking him was an extremely difficult task. Even if we did find and wake him, there was a chance that he would just be a frail old man. Hey, you think anybody's going to read this book? Are you, are you kidding? Say whatever you want, these guys are not going to read the book. Turned out that Ra was indeed just a frail old man. He was out of it. We still had a chance, though. If we recited the spells perfectly, he could turn back into his normal king of the gods self and save the world. Cool, cool. So, did you? Well, I guess they'll have to figure that out on their own. Well, uh, thank you for allowing me to interview you. It is time for our next victim. Uh, uh... Contestant. For our next contestant, please leave. Uh... Where do I go? Just... I... There's... I don't know where I am.